Welcome to Zero Trust Cyber Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. In this video we will be talking about the IoT and its security best practices. The Internet of Things, IoT, is a rapidly growing technology that has the potential to revolutionize many industries, however, it also poses new security challenges. In this video, we will be covering the best practices for securing IoT devices and networks. The Internet of Things, IoT, refers to the interconnectedness of physical devices and objects that are embedded with sensors, software, and network connectivity. These devices are able to collect and share data, allowing them to communicate with each other and with other systems. The basic components of an IoT system include IoT devices. These are the physical objects that are embedded with sensors and other technology. Examples include smart thermostats, cameras, and wearable devices. Sensors. These are used to collect data from the environment, such as temperature, humidity, and motion. Network connectivity. This allows the devices to communicate with each other and with other systems. This can include wired or wireless networks, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular. Cloud computing. This is the use of remote servers over the internet to store, manage, and process data. IoT devices often rely on cloud computing to store and analyze data. Data analytics. This is the use of software and algorithms to analyze the data collected by the devices, and extract insights from it. Once all these components are put together, the IoT devices can collect and transmit data over the network to the cloud, where it can be analyzed, stored and used for various purposes. These purposes can be anything like monitoring and control, data analysis, decision making, or automating things. 1. Secure the device. The first practice is to secure the device. IoT devices are often designed with minimal computing power and storage, making it difficult to run traditional security software. Businesses should ensure that the device has a secure boot process, that the firmware and software are updated regularly, and that the device has a unique and strong password. 2. Segment the network. The second practice is to segment the network. IoT devices should be isolated from the main network and only be allowed to communicate with the systems and devices that they need to. This can be done by using network segmentation, firewalls, and virtual local area networks, VLANs. 3. Use encryption. The third practice is to use encryption. Encryption helps to protect data as it flows between devices and the cloud. Businesses should ensure that all data transmitted between devices and the cloud is encrypted and that the encryption keys are managed securely. 4. Monitor and analyze. The fourth practice is to monitor and analyze. Businesses should monitor and analyze their IoT devices, networks, and data to detect any anomalies or potential threats. This can be done by using security information and event management, SIEM, tools and threat intelligence platforms. 5. Conduct regular risk assessments. The fifth practice is to conduct regular risk assessments. IoT devices and networks are constantly evolving, and businesses should regularly assess their risk and take steps to mitigate them. This can include things like penetration testing, vulnerability scanning, and incident response planning. 6. Patch management. The sixth practice is to have a patch management system in place. IoT devices and networks are vulnerable to known security issues, and it is important to keep the software and firmware updated to address these issues. Businesses should have a system in place to test and apply patches and updates in a timely manner. 7. Limit the amount of data collected. The seventh practice is to limit the amount of data collected by the IoT devices. IoT devices collect large amounts of data and businesses should only collect the data that is necessary for their operations and dispose of it properly. 8. Use secure cloud services. The eighth practice is to use secure cloud services. IoT devices often rely on cloud services to store and process data. Businesses should ensure that they use reputable cloud services and that they are configured securely. 9. Use identity and access management, IAM. The ninth practice is to use identity and access management, IAM. IAM controls who has access to the devices and data. Businesses should have a system in place to manage the identities and access of IoT devices and networks. 10. Use of AI and machine learning. The tenth practice is to use AI and machine learning. AI and machine learning can be used to analyze data, detect anomalies, and respond to threats. 
Businesses can use these technologies to improve their security posture. In summary, IoT is about connecting devices, collecting data from them, analyzing and using this data to improve the way we live and work, and ultimately create a more efficient and convenient world. IoT security best practices are essential for businesses of all sizes. By implementing these practices, businesses can improve their security posture and reduce the risk of a successful cyber attack. Remember that IoT security is an ongoing process and businesses should regularly review and update their security measures. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more cybersecurity tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and we hope you have a better understanding of what is IoT technology and how it works. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more cyber tips and tricks.